everyone before we jump to the market data let me just quickly walk you through what the vix is doing broadly speaking vix is a measure of uncertainty in the market if vix goes down means traders and investors are feeling a bit confident and markets are more or less stable likely to go up the recent peak of the vix was in february end though it rose a little bit in march when there was uncertainty from the rbi induced actions but more or less from that peak vix has been going down continuously which means traders and investors in india are calm right now they are expecting markets to be stable with a positive bias now this may change in a single day or maybe one hour just like i had mentioned in the yesterday's update market started with a gap down then they went up they kept going up till about 1 o'clock and then they got into a range they did try to break 22500 once but immediately came resistance and profit booking market came back to its 22500 to 22400 zone tomorrow is the expiry day there are three options for the market remain stable which is not fun go down which is not supported by the open interest data we'll revisit how it is looking right now or since significant people have taken support of 22500 for their trades breach it decisively go up a lot my gut feel says that tomorrow markets will breach that limit especially post lunch and a lot of people will have to throw in their towels and bow out overall both nifty and bank nifty they went nowhere less than 0.1% in today's volatility does not mean anything hdfc was up yet again for the fifth continuous day icici was down a bit hdfc is 50% more in market cap than icici approximately so hdfc's movement makes more sense in nifty's movement it pack seems to be getting ready for the results tcs was up a bit there has been slight upgrade in certain it stocks reliance corrected yet again this has been a trend with reliance it suddenly goes up 3 4% in a day then it kind of becomes range bound goes down a bit then it goes up again there is no specific direction that reliance is giving to traders right now atl seems to be getting up for good results the arp probably will go up significantly this time fi is sold about 2 billion worth of stocks they bought about 1.5 billion worth of it back which means they are trading heavily a lot of us believe that fii's are investors no they are not most of them are traders that to short term they trade on very large volumes and at times they also alter the decision and the direction of the market based upon their high volumes dias have been fighting with them for last one or two years now dias buy whatever they sell in the past usually fi used to bulk sell retail investors to used to join them and then market would catapult 20 30% this is no longer happening dias are supporting whenever fi is come into a bulk sell mode which is also frustrating the fi is to some extent because markets have been going up not down despite the fi is selling i forgot to mention in the last couple of updates bitcoin has been falling for last couple of days it seems that the manufacturing data is looking good in the us bitcoin does not like good data bitcoin thrives on uncertainty which is bad data so bitcoin fell a bit about 6 7% in the last couple of days now today it is looking reasonably positive may resume its rally last three updates i have talked about gold inching towards 70000 it is at a stone's throw now probably it will be breached tomorrow maybe not on a closing basis but i think gold will breach 70000 once tomorrow crude is continuing its run today the petroleum minister also gave a statement that they are worried about the crude levels can't do much about it you got to take it crude can go to any levels india will have to adjust to the international levels you can't control the consumption much back to the open interest graph from sensible i further narrowed the range now this range may not hold tomorrow but this has been the range today for most of the day 22400 to 22500 100 points is pretty narrow for nifty especially based upon the last few months the precedents we have seen where nifty has fluctuated on either sides maybe closing neutral but a lot of 300 400 level kind of spans in a single day what happened to my trade today i was distracted a bit i was working on the next video and didn't watch the markets as a result when the markets went up the trade turned negative then i saw vix and i didn't see the markets correcting again that is why i squared off my positions overall between yesterday today and the trading charges about 3000 rupees of loss on this trade there are two lessons in it never buy options which i mentioned yesterday also second never poke a raging bull markets are in a bullish mode right now and i was short that does not work as a trader you go with the flow you go with the direction of the market there is nothing called fundamental when it comes to trade and also when markets are at all time high nifty 50 sea of reds again a bit of green in between that reflects the amount of trading that has been going on fi has have been selling a lot of nifty 50 stocks they sell something and then they buy something else the trading part is going on 
volumes of $2 billion worth of selling is pretty high for the cash market to digest. Nifty next 50, again the top part which is higher in market cap was green. That is why the market did not crack. Coming to the US markets, I didn't cover it yesterday, but the bond yields went through the roof yesterday, about 2% up, which is a direct side effect of markets giving up on the fact that interest rates will be cut any sooner. US markets are looking slightly weak ahead of the quarterly numbers. Intel fell 5%, there was something about 2023 data. Tesla has reported fall in production. I don't know if it is a restriction in their production or the demand is falling because of White taking over as the largest EV manufacturer in the world. If the second case is true, then Tesla is in for really bad times. Apple, Google, Tesla, Amazon, they were all down yesterday. Facebook was up a bit. Besides that, markets were looking really weak. The US VIX was up. I mentioned about India VIX being down. US VIX is up, which means there is uncertainty and markets are likely to trade with a slightly negative bias. In terms of India market, I mentioned yesterday that markets will now become stock specific. So the old warriors of the result season are back. Varun Beverages, HAL, Mazagan Docs, PNB, the finance pack of Muthut, Sriram, they were all up a lot today. Varun was up nearly 5%. It is a very, very large stock. And this was kind of a winter quarter where consumption of beverage is not high. But still, market is anticipating a good result because now Varun is present in many, many countries, not just India. Update on my trades. I bought Varun beverages, Vodafone and HAL today. Only for trading reasons, probably for a day or two days. I sold some of the stocks that I already had. A small cap called Saturn, which I hold. Aditya Capital, I bought yesterday. I sold it today. MRPL again, the balance 1000 I sold today. Ujjivan Small Finance and REC, I did place the order, but it did not get executed. I'll try again tomorrow. Now I'll talk about the trading strategy that I'm using right now in current markets. This is clearly not an investor market because markets are very volatile. New highs might get created, but that will be mostly because there is no resistance when markets are at an all-time high. Fundamentally, markets are stretched. Some stocks which will give good results may go up a lot more. That is why I say markets will now become stock specific and maybe sector specific. So this will be a trader's market. And as a trader, you don't go with the levels of the stock. Traders typically buy something with an exit in mind, 2%, 4%, 5%, depending upon your time frame, patience, capital employed and all. So my strategy is simple. Suppose you have 100 rupees. I'm dividing the 100 rupees into pockets of 5 or 10 rupees. And then I'm investing that into 5, 6 stocks. Idea is that if there are 10 investments made, then about 7 of them should give profit. Three of them might be no profit, no loss or slight loss. Eventually, there will be about four or five stocks that will give three, four percent kind of profit. Idea is to make about seven, eight percent to ten percent in about a month's time over the trades. This strategy will change when markets stabilize and the trading range is broken. So this is not a strategy for all seasons. All the strategies, trades I'm sharing in these videos are purely for educational purposes. These are not meant to be replicated. You need to be a full-time trained trader to trade aggressively in the stock markets, especially the FNO market. I hope this update was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.